Google is struggling to keep up with AI clickbait spam, and so they're doing something unthinkable and dangerous. Whoa. Google recently unleashed the March Core algorithm update. However, they also changed their policy surrounding AI and spam, and now they are doing something unprecedented. They are manually penalizing websites that go against these new policies. Goodbye algorithm and hello handpicking winners and losers. Today, I'm going to show you several sites that have been completely de-indexed manually by Google. I'm also going to explain why this is so dangerous for Google to be doing and why this proves that Google is struggling to keep up. So let's dig in. Here's the message in Google Search Console that tons of site owners have been getting. They show that there is a manual action with one issue detected, pages affected by manual actions can see reduced display features, lower ranking, or even removal from Google search results, which is what I'm talking about today. Sites that have been completely de-indexed. And the detected issue, pure spam. Now listen to this. Pages on this site appear to use aggressive spam techniques, such as automatically generated gibberish. That's an interesting line. Automatically generated gibberish cloaking, scraping content from other websites and are repeated or egregious violations of Google spam policies for web search. And it affects all pages. So these sites have been completely de-indexed from Google. In the past, Google has on rare occasions manually penalized a site that they have reviewed, but it's been even more rare for them to completely de-index a site with manual penalty. So let's take a look at just a few examples here. These sites have been completely de-indexed. If we go to Freshers Live and do a site search on Google, it's gone, there's no results. If you go to newsunzip.com, de-indexed. Popularnetworth.com, de-indexed. Now I'm gonna show you why I picked a few of these because they've already been publicly disclosed as being indexed. Now to clarify here, I'm not arguing that these were good sites or that they didn't deserve to get penalized, but I am saying that Google manually taking actions that their algorithm can't automatically handle is dangerous. This is such an odd path for Google to go down. Literally their secret sauce is their algorithm. What made Google great is that it can surface relevant content automatically based on highly sophisticated algorithms, but now they are handpicking websites to crush. Google processes billions of pages on the internet. Their entire business origin and business model is based on their ability to process 8.5 billion search queries each day or 99,000 search queries per second. The scale of search is much too big for Google to be manually doing things. So why did they do this? Well, I can think of a few reasons. First, they want to scare and penalize the most vocal SEOs out there pushing certain AI or spam strategies. Kill the messenger, kill the message. Or they want to get rid of the most blatant examples, even if they aren't SEO influencers. But the darker reason that they might be manually kicking websites out of their index is much more problematic for Google. Maybe their algorithm isn't good enough to find the offending websites on its own. Yikes, that's a scary thought for Google. I mean, if their algorithm was good enough to find the spam and AI websites, there would be no need for manual penalties. But here we are. Let's take a look at how many websites have been manually de-indexed over the last week or so. Plus, I'm going to share several examples. So let's take a look at this recent study by originality.ai, which is a tool that helps detect AI written content. So originality did a study where they looked 79,000 websites and 1,446 of those website had a manual action applied to them. That is something like 1.7% of the websites that they looked at had received a manual action. Actually, this shows that it's 1.9% of the websites they checked. So almost 2% of all the websites that they checked had received this manual penalty. Now that's a cumulative traffic loss of 20 million visitors a month. And my question is, is where are these visitors going? What other websites is gaining that 20 million visitors a month? Now, three of these websites that they studied had over 1 million organic visitors per month. 
And so I'm going to take a look at those specific websites. Site number one was ZachJohnson.com. So here we have ZachJohnson.com. And I actually know Zach. I've met him in person. He's been around for a long time. He's done a lot of podcasts. But his website had a very high DR. And I suspect that he got overambitious and thought, I'm going to just kind of game the system. I'm going to pump out a bunch of AI content and see what I can rank for. And he did indeed rank for a ton of keywords. You can see that he had this huge spike at, uh, you know, sort of earlier this year up to one, nearly 1 1.8 million visitors per month. And you can see now that it's just absolutely gotten obliterated due to this manual action. But fortunately, we have just enough time to see the types of keywords that he was ranking for or the, the pages. We can look at either here. It's a lot of these things that are most expensive phones, most handsome men in the world, other things that are totally unrelated to digital marketing, which is what his website was uh, previously. And uh, based on the study from Originality, most of this content, in fact, it might have been 100% of the content was AI generated. And so it got demolished. Now, website number two here is beingselfish.in. And you can quickly see that a lot of this is about cricket, politicians, celebrities, that type of content. But just to verify, we'll go over here uh, to Ahrefs and you can see that it's just fallen off a cliff because it does not exist in Google's index anymore. And you can see that it's just, again, all of these pages are getting removed completely. Probably a website that deserved to get penalized here. Uh, the next one that I'll look at, Equity Atlas. You know, on the surface, it looks professional. You know, personal finance, global investing. So I'd expect all of its keywords should be related to business and finance, right? But what type of keywords is it ranking for? Well, you can see that, it, again, it did get demolished uh, from the Google index and the organic keywords that it is ranking for here now is a bunch of net worth, salary, other things, right? Net worth, salary, that is a little bit different than the type of content with, within its niche that it probably should have been ranking for. And again, based on the um, originality.ai study, 100% of that content on these websites that I just brought up was AI generated. So these sites deserve to get penalized, right? But it's problematic that it had to be done manually. The risk of AI content spam is so great to Google that they are doing the unthinkable. They are pushing their algorithm to the side and they are handpicking sites to de-index. I suspect that Google has good reasons for doing this, but at this moment, it's unclear to me. However, I'm 100% certain that they are working on updating their algorithm to more readily detect the type of AI spam that they are trying to catch. To my website creators and bloggers out there, keep publishing great content that you write and review. Keep publishing content that you know your audience will enjoy. Stay safe out there.